Good morning, I would like to take the opportunity to present to the steering group the Health Watch Lincolnshire annual plan and more specifically the project activities. Over the next year we, we aim to continue to influence commissioners and providers on how they engage and involve the public voice. We also want to increase the volume and quality of insights received from the public and service users and deepen our understanding because of this. It should also go without saying that involving volunteers is also an important part of our statutory requirement of delivering a local health watch. Our public engagement activity. As a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, public engagement as we know it has changed drastically. We expect that there will be no face-to-face -face engagement in the community for at least the rest of 2020, which has meant looking for new and unique ways of engaging with the public. So last year we began to successfully use digital engagement through social media advertising to great effect, and this will continue throughout the 2020 and 21 year. However, we are very aware that this excludes some areas of the community and we will be working with other stakeholders and voluntary organisations to better reach seldom heard groups, some of who cannot access through digital means to hear their experiences of health and social care services in Lincolnshire. In order to enable patients, service users and the public to share their views and experiences of health and social care services, we will be working more in collaboration with others and engaging creatively and meaningfully. One of our most successful public engagement events is our Your Voice at Health Watch. These are an opportunity for the public to attend and take part in a Q&A session. Average attendance is between 40 to 50 people per event from a wider background of the community and a higher attendance from seldom heard groups, as well as rep patient representation groups and members of the public. As a result of the pandemic, these events have evolved and adapted, and in July 2020, we conducted our first online event. Due to the success of this event, we will be running them virtually for the foreseeable future. We will also be adapting the learning from Your Voice events to bring the public online engagement opportunities, which will run to support project work and facilitate information and signposting. These will be more informal drop-in sessions with the working title of A Cuppa with Health Watch, giving the public the opportunity to engage and feed into Health Watch Lincolnshire any concerns or positive experiences regarding a specific topic, as well as giving people the opportunity to access our information and signposting service. This will be a more informal engagement opportunity for people to join. So themes for our future Your Voice at Health Watch events. Some of these themes have been chosen because they coincide with the opportunity to feed into other work being done in Lincolnshire and allow us to feed in the patient experience uh, to the table at these important meetings. Our next Your Voice event in October has the theme of hospital discharge. This relates to the work that Health Watch England began in September as well as it being a priority for the United Lincolnshire Hospital Trust. January 2021 will see our Your Voice theme as urgent and emergency care. This can feed into the quality surveillance group in January and feed into the hospital trust meeting in March, which will also complement the work that we will run in conjunction with this. April's theme will be maternity. This will feed into May's quality patient experience committee uh, meeting, also known as QPEC. And it's not a population of people we often engage with, so I thought it might bring a new audience to us. July 2021, the, the, the theme chosen for the Your Voice is social care. We need to include at least one social care theme and it will also coincide with our social care work uh, once our focus is agreed. So our project activity, how we set our priorities and decision making. As you're aware, the purpose of the Health Watch Steering Group is to agree the areas of priority for Health Watch Lincolnshire for the coming year. This year it was felt the need for an overarching theme of communication and information. Continually, Health Watch Lincolnshire receives feedback from the public about poor communication from their health and care services and how it impacts on, on their mental well-being and ultimately, ultimately their physical health. To provide some context to this issue, over the last past year alone, Health Watch Lincolnshire has received 615 public experiences that highlight their concerns about how services communicate with them. These experiences can be broadly categorised in three ways. The first being administration. This is often through uh, misleading letters or incorrect information on, on letters and administration or documents. Two is through verbal communication. So this is a, an example of this would be patients receiving information from doctors and consultants and unsure about what is said and the left being confused and don't understand. The, the third point is around general communication. This can be from leaflets, posters and signage uh, that can conclude information that is out of date or not meeting the needs of individuals. 
Therefore, this year we felt an overarching theme across our work could look to address these communication and information issues. Our aim is to provide evidence of where involvement in communication and information has resulted in positive outcomes for patients and carers. As well as being a feature of our work throughout the year, we will also look to provide an evaluation report at the end of the year. Under our watchdog role, we will be looking back at some of our previous work and evaluating how providers have responded to our recommendations and to see how well services have or have not improved for patients. In January, we plan to revisit our stroke work and check that proposed actions for, for improvements provide providers of stroke services are in place and benefiting patients. Recommendations for improvements in communication information for parents, patients and carers will be a positive to people's overall well-being. This will involve a series of desk-based activities involving contacting stroke services, patients, carers, arranging focus groups, telephone calls and virtual meetings. We're also considering an online survey. This will then feed back and give an update into the work already carried out during the local 100 day stroke challenge and will be beneficial for the STP and long-term plan for Lincolnshire Acute Services Review. Learning Disabilities this year we also plan to revisit our work with learning disabilities and map and report the situation with regards to NHS annual health checks for people with learning disabilities. This is with a view to raising this as a serious issue impacting the health of people with learning disabilities. This will involve desk-based activities including conversations with CCG staff, contact with GP surgeries and with the LD community. This work will then be fed back into the Learning Disabilities Mortality Review and RESPECT, which is the recommended summary plan for emergency care and treatment. Personal health budgets. We will also be using our watchdog role to look back at our previous work at personal health budgets and understand if any improvement has been made with the knowledge and understanding and uptake of personal health budgets. Quality accounts. Every year, Healthwatch Lincolnshire is asked to comment on the local service provider's quality accounts. Under our watchdog role, we have agreed trigger points throughout the year up to March 2021 to enable the Healthwatch Steering Group to have a better understanding of the impact of NHS trust performance and patients and carers experiences against their quality priorities. This allows us to use patient experience to influence the quality accounts throughout the year rather than waiting till the end of the year to provide our evaluation. Hospital discharge. Our work on hospital discharge began in September with a national survey led by Healthwatch England and the Red Cross. We have now begun reporting to providers these current experiences of hospital discharge and its impact both positively and negatively to people's physical and mental well-being. With this we aim to see positive improvements in communication and information provided at the point of discharge. Hospital discharge is also a priority for United Lincolnshire Hospital Trust set out in their quality accounts. This work will therefore be extremely useful for this process and will give them current and up-to-date patient experience feedback to help assist to improve this area of priority. It will also influence at a national level through the work being carried out by Healthwatch England. Mental health. One of the impacts of the pandemic has been the rise in people suffering with mental health issues, with a particular area of concern being suicide. Healthwatch England have already raised the impact of mental health during COVID and whilst this is not a COVID specific related piece of work, we all recognise the impact of COVID on people and services in Lincolnshire. We look to understand and share the impact on people in crisis while waiting for mental health service support. We will look to consider any links to long waits and attempted or achieved suicides and to understand what communication and information patients, their carers and families receive whilst waiting for mental health support. We've already begun gathering feedback with regards to suicide and suicide prevention. This was done to feed patient experience and feedback directly into the Suicide Prevention Data Group and Quality Surveillance Group in January. There is currently work being done in Lincolnshire on the Suicide Audit Suicide Prevention Strategy and Action Plan. The work we are doing will help identify if these plans are what is needed and also will act as a benchmark. Social Care Healthwatch Lincolnshire continues its commitment to social care and we will be working in collaboration with Lincolnshire County Council and Adult Social Care to agree the main themes and focus to our work within social care. Plans will be agreed by the end of December and we will be looking to run this work between May and July 2021. In the meantime, we continue to encourage social care feedback from the public and, and we will share this with the relevant providers and commissioners to improve patient experience. 
So this plan has been designed in a way that allows us to have some capacity for movement if other health and social care uh, concerns arise. Where it would be better suited for health watch and patients, carers and service users if our focus was moved towards them. For example, we are expecting some public consultations around the NHS long-term plan and the acute services review, but are uncertain of when they will occur. This is a quick overview of our project outlines for the year ahead. For more details, please see our Health Watch Lincolnshire Annual Plan.